Hello, Holy Wiremod here. Welcome to tutorial 28 in the G Lua Pro series, where we'll be taking a look at emit sound, screen shake, and effects. Now, these are very useful for making a swept. They'll give some life to your swept, as opposed to just adding damage info or adding a trace attack, which is pretty straightforward. But let's say we want to add some effects, and we're going to be going into animations in the next video for those who are curious before we finally cover swept. And um, let's start with emit sounds. How about this? We're going to have emit sound, and we're going to be emitting a sound which sounds like it's charging up. So something is charging up. There's a bunch of energy gathered in this one spot, and after the charge sound plays, which is roughly going to be around three seconds after, we are going to have a nice explosion. So let's go over effects. Effects are very simple. They're are considered a class just like you have damage info you'll be assigning something called effect data which you're going to be defining some information about so let's do this and use the functions right here and the first one is going to be set origin and the origin is going to be where the effect actually is on the map so we're going to have the explosion on the player that makes sense the scale of the explosion you can put as 0.05 as well as the magnitude so we're going to go set magnitude and 0.05 just as such there's a bunch of other different values as well um, and these different values will also uh, reflect or change things about maybe you're you're shocking someone with a zap or whatnot well you can actually define by the way what effect you're using with util effect and as I said, we're going to be using Explosion, and I'll provide a list of more effects that you can include in the description below. And then we're just going to tag on the effect data that we defined right here. So like I said, you can zap somebody. You can make a water geyser come out the ground. You can create smoke. You can do all kinds of different effects. But for now, we're keeping it very simple. So with our Explosion, we're expecting the player to die, which they will. And lastly, we want the explosion to shake the screen of anybody nearby, which we use something called screen shake. Now we're going to have the origin of the screen shake. We're going to have the magnitude, the frequency of the screen shake, the duration the screen shakes, and the radius around the origin in which screens will shake. So, for example, if a bot exploded next to me and I'm within 500 units, as defined right here, my screen will shake according to these values. Very simple, very straightforward. So let's save this and then go into the game mode. And we're going to be adding some bots as well, just to make this a little bit fun. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. So you can always see in the console they're already suiciding. So let's see what's happening in game. And there we go. We have a bunch of bots getting blown up three seconds. And now you have a new game mode called Bot Genocide. You can go make a fortune. Probably not. But let's look what it's like when I actually kill myself. Oh no, I'm in the ground. Alright, so now I am subject to the new code. And there we go. And just to show you what it looks like in a mirror. Nothing spectacular. Anyway, I hope that shows you the basics, though, for setting uh, different effects onto players, screen shakes, and simple. And actually, let me go near a bot. You can see my screen is indeed shaking. I just want to emphasize that before we close down this tutorial. And that's going to conclude everything. So if you like the content, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, bell, and all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we'll look over animations. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Hexane Networks for affordable and high-performance server hosting. That's Hexane Networks, whose link is in the description below.